Hi, we're here in the church tower and I wanted to give you a tour of our bell tower, which includes several floors. We are going to be going up this ladder, which leads up to the hatch in the ceiling, and that will lead us to our first floor. And before we do that, I want to show you the two ropes that we use to ring our bell. These two ropes control the same bell and uh, are different ways of ringing the bell. One of the ropes swings the bell and one of the ropes hits the bell. And so these are the two ropes that we use to ring the bell. So let's go on upstairs and let's see the first floor of the bell tower. Here we are on the first floor of the bell tower. We've just come up the ladder through the hatch and we are standing now on a wooden floor. And I want to show you a few things on this floor. On the wall are the letters JE, which I assuming is uh, the initials of one of the craftsmen that worked on the bell tower. And when you come around the corner, we come into the organ chamber, uh, which was the antiphonal organ chamber of the old Austin organ from 1915. This organ had um, this walk-in wind chest, which if you open the door, would have housed pipes. And so now there are no pipes remaining, but the walk-in wind chest is still here. If you come out here, you will see the tone opening that leads into the back of the church. And so through this opening came all of the sound that was coming out of this antiphonal organ. The rest of the chamber is up through here and you can see the louvers that open and close the swell box that make the organ louder and softer. And so with that, we'll go up to the second floor of the bell tower. So now we're on the second floor of the bell tower, which doesn't have much. We came up the hatch. Here are the two ropes that are used to ring the bell. And if you look over here, this looks to be the old organ blower, which they've kept up here because there's no real way to take it down. And here we are on the third floor of the bell tower. We came up this hatch and here we are uh, with the bell. The bell was made by the Manili's Foundry of West Troy, New York in 1860. And the bell is inscribed, Christ Church, Norfolk, A.D. 1860. This bell was moved here from the old Christ Church and is allegedly the oldest bell in Norfolk. From here, you will see the best views of Norfolk through these windows, which are all blocked off so that the birds cannot come into the tower. And up this ladder is the roof of the tower.
And so while we're up here, I want to show you how the bell works. If you remember, there are two ropes at the tower uh, floor level, and here are the two ropes. This is the rope that swings the bell, so when I pull on the rope, this whole wheel turns and the bell swings. So let's try that now. And this rope here tolls the bell, which means that this hammer will strike the bell. This method of ringing the bell is used for solemn occasions like funerals. And so there we have it, the bell of Christ in St. Luke's Church and a tour of the bell tower.